Hey everybody, welcome back to Princess Peach Showtime. This guy's just hanging out with his fans, I love it. I love it when anybody with a fan base hangs out with their fans and talks to them. Not even just famous people, just anybody. Alright, so in the last part, um, the last two parts actually, because I had to cut the video in half, I spent 40 minutes on both detective levels, and uh, so that's two relatively slow videos in a row, so I think we're going to start picking it up here. Because now we have a ninjutsu level, which we haven't seen since like part 3, I think. So I'm very excited to get back into that, and then the last one on this floor is the dashing thief level. So we're going to be finishing that one off as well, and then whatever the boss is, so... Things are going to start picking up here. I'm excited. This way. Hang on. What? The guards are going to be a problem. Oh, I doubt that. They've attached something to the castle. It's kind of evil, whatever that is. It's got like red eyes or something. Yeah, so... On the topic of celebrities meeting their fans and being totally cool about it, um, in 2021, actually, we went to a fan expo, and COVID restrictions were still very much in effect at, the, at that point, so there was, like, nobody there. It was not as packed as it normally would be, which means that the lineups to meet celebrities were not that long at all. At all. And uh, we got a whole bunch of autographs from that. We met, like, William Shatner, and it, it was so cool. I loved it. But the reason I wanted to talk about that, actually, was because that sort of relates to this LP. Because I wanted to talk about when I met Charles Martinet, which was so cool. Um, yeah, part of the reason that... I kept calling this LP Super Princess Peach. I don't think it's because of the game, because I don't think I've played that game in 20 years, and I only played through it once. And, uh... I think it's because I have this memory of... Um... When we went to get Charles Martinet's autograph. And, uh... When he signs the autograph, he'll sign it Super, and then your name, and then... If you're a girl, he'll sign a super princess and then your name. So we went there, and you can see how this is going into the super princess beach thing. So he starts signing super princess because my girlfriend was there. And he stops for a second as he's writing this, like before he writes that, and he goes, Should I sign the super princess? Is that too much? <laughs> my girlfriend was like, no, it's okay. You sign whatever you want. So he did. Um, the whole time he was doing it, he was doing, like, the Super Mario voice and Luigi and everything. It's, it's just... I don't believe that he can he can turn it off. And my heart was completely broken when I found out that he was retiring from the role because it... He didn't strike me as a person who would ever give that up. But... I don't want to be conspiratorial. I don't know if there were more politics involved in that. Um, but I'm glad that he's still doing conventions because he's an absolutely fantastic person to meet. If you ever get the chance, go do it. He'll just... This is like a core memory that I have now because he was so cool. And so, yeah, every time I think about this game now, I think about him <laughs> being unsure if she was going to be put off by signing Super Princess on the autograph for... Because he just he he asked he said do you want me to just sign the super or super princess? She said you do whatever you want to do. <laughs> so he was he was happy about that. Um, yeah. So man, where do I even go from there? Because oh, I got to be careful not to be seen by these guys here. I like this how it's flipping around like this very interesting. I love the shadows. That's really neat. Uh, oh, I can wall jump up here. Uh, yep. <laughs> oh, hey. Yeah, hang on a second. Here we go. Oop, there. Right there. Okay. Got it. 
Yeah, so that's, that's all I, I wanted to say is that I really appreciated that, and um, it's just it seems like such a whatever thing, but I don't know. I, I thought it was really nice because he, he didn't have to do that at all. Um, he wanted to make sure that she was completely comfortable with it. That both of us were, and that it was it was just a, a great wholesome experience. And everybody that I've talked to who has has met him before has said the same thing. That it's just he's just one of those people who spreads so much joy in this world, and it's just such a shame that he's gone now. Um, not dead, but <laughs> retired. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, the new guy, of course, I'll give him a chance. I know he did, uh, he did wonder, but, uh, you know, not quick enough for this. Oh, you want me to go on, go on ahead? Okay, here we go. Is this going to be another running part? Yeah. I need my time to mourn, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I haven't picked up wonder yet, I don't know if I will, but... I'm, I'm, I'm entitled to my, my mourning time, I don't know. Oh, man. Super Mario to me genuinely means so much at this point, and even before he was involved with it, um, it's just such a everything about. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna get this, am I? <laughs> I gotta focus and stop looking off into the distance while I tell my stories. I mean, I I don't have to explain Super Mario to you. He's such a such a cultural icon. Oh boy, I miss that. He's such a cultural icon and just... I don't know. It's... It's bittersweet, I guess. I'm, I'm trying not to get too upset, but... <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the retirement announcement hit me like a ton of bricks, and... Uh, I just wanted to talk about that, because every time I say Super Princess Peach, it's not even the game that I'm talking about. It's specifically that memory that keeps coming up. Okay, we got a scroll. It's gonna be another projected thing on here. That looks almost 3D. I wonder if that would... Oh, now I'm playing Tears of the Kingdom! <laughs> just makes me want to play that. <laughs> so man, you're playing this. You want to play Tears of the Kingdom? You stream that. Uh... Oh, I can... Okay, keep tapping. Keep tapping. Power through. Oh, that feels good. That's cool. I love that. Oh, it was like a... <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I love how they've used, like... I don't even know how you would... Things that you would build to put on a stage. And they just made them into dragons and... Tidal waves and it's just I don't know. It's so cool how they've done this. I, I love the aesthetic. I've said that before, but At some point I'm gonna have to stop gushing about this game and Super Mario because I do have some um, Things to discuss about this game in specific Which I always do whenever we roll credits So yes, I'm absolutely enjoying my time with this But I've been taking notes at the same time so stick around for my credits review of that, I suppose. If it comes up again, of course, I'll, you know, just if I'm thinking about it, I'll mention it. But for right now, yeah, I'm just I'm just having fun. Yeah, let's head down to the basement. Let's let me check what time I'm up to here now. Without loads, nine minutes. Yeah, we can fit another level in, no problem. It's just those detective ones for some reason. I don't know why that is, but. It's alright. I'm certainly not opposed to long levels. That's what I was hoping for. And, uh... Yeah. I have to remember to do this all the time. I don't know. Uh, I like that. Sort of the green-blue, the dark color. I like that. It's like a navy green. That's something you never hear about is a navy green. Which is weird when you consider it a, a navy green. But whatever. The Dark Ninja and the Legion of Guards. Oh, 
How much of a legion is this going to be? I'm a little worried about that. I'm not really... Um, I'm still anticipating a difficulty spike. I don't know when that's going to come up, if ever, but we're getting really close to the end of the game here, and I'm wondering if it is going to start being more of an issue. Um, I hope so. The 10 minute videos, they were fine, I guess. I don't usually do that. Usually I like to stick to 20 to 30 minutes, thereabouts. But... Oh. Is that what that sound means? Now you will meet your doom! What an unfortunate turn of events! Now oh, we gotta go rescue Lemony's naked over. here. Uh... Take out this guy, yep. Wait a minute. Can just go along the back here, I think. Yep. This guy here, no problem. No problem. Oh, that's so cool! It lifts up the... Uh, eh, that was glowing back there, I saw that. I'm not gonna stop gushing about this game, and I'm not gonna apologize about it either. I do like it. It's not without its flaws, but I have been really enjoying um, the art side of it. The, uh, the, the creativity. I wish they had have done more, is my big thing. Because we're already on the third ninja level, and I've spent, like, no time in this at all. Something like this that would be... Well, I, I don't know. I, I was going to say free roam. I don't know if it needs that, and I don't know if it would be better, but... Longer is what I'm specifically talking about. Each level should be like the detective levels. 20 minutes. Or more. I am in your debt. Your technique is very impressive. Ah, we'd better hurry out of here now. Yeah, that's... Is that an alarm or something? I don't know much about, uh... Ninjas. Is this a, a Naruto thing? Oh! A fake out. We'll be seeing him soon. See, that's bad, because now he knows I exist. Oops! Don't run in there. <laughs> Wait for you to turn. Yep. There we go. Yeah, I, I don't know anything about Naruto or ninjas, even in Western pop culture. Like, I, I don't really keep up with it. I think it's interesting. Um, it's a little bit... I don't know. Now, the real ninjas. I do recommend researching the real ninjas of Japan, because they were very, very fascinating. Worlds different from... Well, this, for example, how they're portrayed, but the real historical ninjas, super interesting. I love that stuff. I love history. I've also made it a point to start researching more about um, Chinese history, because I mentioned it in the video that I didn't know much about it. So I have made it a point to start studying that. Usually what I do is when I'm at work... Oh my gosh! Uh, Oh, I'm fast in this, no problem. Keep searching the pots, yeah. Usually what I'll do is I'll turn on an audiobook and listen to it at work. And I can go through an audiobook a day. If I have like a 10 hour shift, I'll get through an audiobook. And then some. Throw on some podcasts, whatever. It's awesome. It's awesome. I love that. Try to find yourself a job where you can listen to audiobooks. Try to do that. Sometimes that's a lot of factory work. A lot of monotonous work. If you can get away with it, definitely do it. I have learned so much. I learned something about the history of Cartier at work. I don't care about jewelry at all. But I learned about the history of this company that I've never purchased from and probably never will. And... I don't know. It was interesting. It's just, it's fascinating to learn things just in general, you know? I'm one of those guys. I'm one of those trivia guys. I couldn't be on that trivia show, but... <laughs> I've been told that I just have these random trivia moments. 
What? Oh, what? Who is that? Your escape ends here. The two of you will crumble to dust. Oh. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> A test of resolve. Do not waver. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, lead on. Another running... I love this. I love the running segments. Even if I'm bad at them, I love them. Jump. Jump. Oh, no. The wall jumping is just automatic. I don't have to... Oop. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> okay, let's try that again. <laughs> I don't have to push the control stick or anything. Like, I'm literally just using the A button right now. And the B button to take out these guys. Yeah, that's it. Play this one-handed. Easy. It's doing all the running for me. And jump up here. And it does actually give you, like, a second to breathe when you're on top of the... those cogs that you spin around on. You can just hang out there for a second if you have to catch your breath. So stubborn. This ends now! Oh my gosh. We will prevail if we work together. What is the plan here? What are we gonna do? You will pay for what you have done! Oh, okay, I have to wait for the... Wait for the sparkle. Like that, there we go. <laughs> Finito! I love it. It's done. Alright. And that leaves us. It's my hand drumming rubbing together. In anticipation. For the dashing peach stage, which I loved. I it was just, it was as much fun as I thought it was gonna be in the last part. I, that I did it. I, I, I loved it. I'm excited. Two levels in a row of that. Oof. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> Check that one out. Man, we're almost done. I think we have another floor. Which means that we have five abilities to go. That makes sense. Yeah. Your ninja skills are unparalleled. I have no idea where I would have learned that, but I love that I could do it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna make a stop at the shop, I think. Because I haven't... Well, I say I haven't been doing it. I have, but, you know. Check, uh... Check this out. I like this. I like the gray with the, with the green. I'm gonna use that. What else we got here? Uh, where are you at? Where's my new one? Oh, there it is. Nice. Nice. Looks good. I like he's even got, like, the headband and everything. Okay. Let me check and see what I have got, because... Stella is still lacking. Ooh! Sparkle Ribbon? Yeah, we buy that. I, I feel bad for Stella, because we haven't been... I'm not going to wear it, though, because it's... it's <laughs> I like the darker colors, I don't know. Ugh, some of these are just... eyesores. Uh, I don't even know what to do with that, but I'll buy it anyway. I'm not going to wear it. Brown is interesting. I don't know about it. I kind of wish there was a way just to change it to a solid color that isn't pink, but that's all right. Or another gradient, you know. A purple gradient? Mmm, that would look so good. Yeah, so now I'll take up the elevator. And in the next part, we'll take on the Dashing Thief. See you then.